Welcome one, welcome all to the Season 33 Majors Draft. I am excited, so should you be. Uh, I am your host for tonight, AJ887, and I am joined by several of the PBE's greatest GMs, uh, as well as some other GMs that we just found kind of lying around the street. We're going to join them now. Uh, <laughs> So I'm going to hop back into the uh, group call with all of them. Uh, be prepared. They may be talking currently. So <laughs> here we go. Thank you, Marks666, uh, for the subscription, as well as Brother John 34 uh, And hello to everyone. Hi, Juosu. I, I see you saying hello. <laughs> We're going to head on back into the call with all the GMs. Here we go. I didn't care. Hello, everybody. We are uh, we are live with the uh, with the draft. Okay. Say hello, GMs. <laughs> hello. Hello, GMs. Hello, GMs. Hello, GMs. <laughs> hello, GMs. <laughs> I didn't mean, but now I feel bad. <laughs> oh my goodness! We have uh, six PBE GMs with us today. Uh, I'm going to introduce you all one at a time. Just say hello uh, a little bit about yourself uh, so that we can uh, recognize the voice. Uh, we'll start with the 
uh, GM of the reigning PBE World Series champions, C Does IT. How are you doing, C Does IT? Doing great. Excited to uh, welcome people to the league and to our team. It's a good draft, so really looking forward to this one. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. I, I always love the uh, the draft streams because uh, it's, it's always just people saying nice things about each other, and that's always my favorite kind of draft. Uh, we also have the GM of uh, the Maui Makos. Diesel is here. Diesel, how are you doing today? What's up? I'm doing great. I'm, uh, you know, the, the generic anime profile picture you see in every server. Uh, <laughs> been, uh, been in this league for a while now, but uh, I'm having fun with the Makos. Great. It's always good to be having fun with your team. Absolutely. Uh, we also have the GM of the New Orleans Rougarou. Eldorian is here. How are you today, Eldorian? Uh, pretty good, AJ. I was just here to talk about... Uh, exciting things happening in this draft so looking forward to it there's some very exciting things i i wasn't privy to the draft anymore since i'm not a gm so a lot of this stuff i'm seeing for the first time uh and some pretty interesting stuff going on uh we also have uh with us the gm of the new york voyagers enoch is here enoch how are you doing i'm good how are you doing pretty good uh there you go <laughs> And we also have the uh, GM of the Indianapolis Apex, Pazuzu. Paz, how are you doing? Good. Just hanging out. Excited for the draft. It's going to be a good time. Yes, it will. Welcome. Uh, welcome. And we also have the GM of the Providence Crabs, Sori, is here. Sori, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Save the best for last. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, six majors GMs uh, on the call today, which is, I think, probably the most amount that I've ever had in a group call for uh, the PBE draft, so that's very exciting for me. Um, <laughs> but we, we do have quite a lot of uh, draftees to get through, so we are going to, uh, without any further ado, take you on to the first round draft board. Here is where every pick stood at the beginning of the Season 33 draft. Um, however, there were some trades that kind of shook things up in the order a little bit, so we'll get to a couple of those first right now. The first one being the New Orleans Rougarou. Uh, and the Buffalo Surge actually made a trade. Uh, New Orleans received number four overall in this draft, while the Buffalo Surge received eight overall, uh, season 24, uh, second round from NOLA, as well as Hagen Daz. Uh, Eldorian, uh, do you want to talk to me a little bit about this trade real quick? Yeah, so the reason why this comes up, you'll find out in the next slide, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but um, uh, the reason why this one came up, we did this right off the bat in the in the draft because we wanted to move up some of our picks um and it made sense to go from eight eight overall to four overall because of who we wanted um that and uh cj uh hagen does the, the user cj um he wanted to play for buffalo and uh, uh buffalo really wanted him and so it made sense to kind of make the trade there and you know giving up a second there as well so um people play where they're happy and uh, we get a little bit of a higher pick because of it and uh, chat seems to be picking up on this. This uh, actually should be season 34, yes? Not season 24 of the second round? Uh, that is correct. Okay, yes. <laughs> so it's next season's second round pick. Uh, thank you, chat, for picking up on that. Uh, I probably did say season 24 when I was reading off the <laughs> the things that Buffalo received. But yes, this should be season 34, not 24, that the... Uh, that the second round pick is in. Uh, and then the other trade that we're going to go over involves this number four overall pick uh, that New Orleans just received from Buffalo. They're actually going to trade it away as well as number 16 overall and their season 35 second, not their season 25 second, but their season 35 second. Uh, and they're actually going to receive number one overall. So New Orleans uh, trading all the way up to number one uh, so Eldorian, you mentioned that there were a couple, that there was a player that you, that you really had your eye on for this one. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a player we really wanted here. We were quite like, we, we, to give a little bit of background on this, we almost didn't make this trade, um, because, uh, we had originally, get, uh, offered OBX, uh, six overall 16 and then two of our seconds. 
and we kind of wanted to stand firm on that and we we're okay not making this trade um but after some things had kind of come up we were like you know what we we just want to go get our guy <laughs> and that's what we did we went and got our guy now dorian heard some rumors <laughs> yep <laughs> We were getting worried that he wasn't going to be there on third, so went and got our guy. So there we have the first round draft board now that it's been modified uh, a little bit. Uh, that four overall um, actually uh, belonging to OBX now, so you do see the Buffalo Surge logo there. Im just imagine an OBX logo right there, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, that will change as we get further in the slides, but everything else is accurate um, as far as I know. <laughs> so... Um, that will bring us right on into the first overall pick. Eldorian, do you want to announce it? Yeah, so for uh, first overall round pick, we took uh, KC15. The uh, player is Jethro Toll, I believe. Yep, starting pitcher. I uh, had to bring KC back. He was the founder of the Rigorous. Um He had one of the best players of all time with Gustav Beauregard, and uh, we needed to make him a first overall pick and get him back. Uh, yeah. I mean, there, I don't know much more I can say about that. He's <laughs> he's a great guy. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, we need to bring him back to New Orleans. Yeah, for the for uh, some of the newer players who may be watching, uh, maybe this is their first draft. Uh, KC15 the previous create was Gustav Beauregard. Uh, if you recognize that name from uh, maybe a season or two ago, I don't know, but. Um, uh, probably one of the most successful players in the PBE of all time. I don't think that's an understatement to say. <laughs> or an overstatement, I should say. I don't think that's an overstatement. Um, so, Jethro Tull, uh, starting pitcher, KC15, headed back to New Orleans. Uh, so, congratulations to KC15 for going number one overall in the Season 33 Majors Draft. Now, will bring us to the number two overall pick, that being the Sarasota Supernovas. Uh, Supernova's on the rebuild, uh, so they're going to have the... Uh, oh, sorry, Enoch. I'll uh, turn that back on for you. Let's, uh, let's turn the screen share back on. Um, Sarasota Supernova's kind of in a rebuild right now, so as a result, uh, you're going to have some losing seasons, and as a result of that, you're going to have uh, some higher picks in the draft. Um, so at number two overall, uh, the... Uh, Sarasota Supernovas are going to select Rake in the Lake, <laughs> third baseman uh, from the Florida Flamingos, user MN Moosey, Moosey a good friend, uh, previous create Leo Robert uh, is going to join uh, fellow HO member Hummus God uh, over on the, on the Supernovas. Uh, 211 TPE, 312 average, 364 OBP. I don't think there's any denying that uh, Moosey is absolutely deserving of uh, being the number two overall pick. Uh, and even even more, actually. Uh, sorry, I just got a message. All right, we're good. But, so congratulations, Moosey, uh, for being selected at, at number two overall to the Sarasota Supernovas. And this is an amazing... Uh, despite being very simplistic render. <laughs> it's a very simple render, but it's a very amazing one at, at, at that as well. Uh, and this just makes me want hats in the PPE store. That's all I'm going to say to that. So number <laughs> number three overall, uh, it's the New Orleans Ruguru again. Eldorian, would you like to announce this pick as well? Yeah, so number three, uh, we had to go with pitching again. So we went with uh, XTorrent, user uh, Skindog44. Um, this was a tough one uh, because, well, it was tough because we had a lot of debate on who we wanted to take here. Um, but it came down to we absolutely needed pitching. And, and uh, Torrent, like Skin Dog's old player, Io Torrent, used to, uh, he played for the Rigorous for a couple seasons. We had a great time with him. We wanted to bring him back. We needed pitching. So it made sense to grab him here because we didn't think we'd get him later. So, uh, for, and for those uh, newer players, uh, if you recognize the name IO Torrent, this is uh, the same user, uh, just a different uh, player on their recreate. Pax Torrent, the starting pitcher from the Chicago Kingpins. Congratulations, uh, IO, uh, Skindog44, for uh, being selected here at number three overall, heading back to New Orleans to be a part of the Rugaroos once again. Um, <laughs> uh,. And that will bring us to number four overall, uh, which 
as we mentioned, was a trade. Uh, OBX Aviators uh, should be right here. Um, and so with that number four overall selection, the Outer Banks Aviators are going to select... Oh, sorry, there's the change right there. OBX Aviators at number four, and now uh, Buffalo Surge here at number eight after those trades that we mentioned earlier. Uh, but number four overall, the Outer Banks Aviators will select... Yajadov? I'm going to assume that I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I apologize to AU Gold if I am not. Uh, but AU Gold uh, from the Puerto Rico Ranas uh, organization, relief pitcher. Uh, in case, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, in case anyone doesn't recognize the name backwards, it's Joey Vado, but I think pretty much everyone would have <laughs> recognized that. Um, but this is an amazing render of a upside down Joey Votto. I think, I think that's Joey Votto. I would assume it's Joey Votto. Um, so excellent job on the render rapid Eagle. Um, so Yaj out of 222 TPE, uh, from the Ranas. We have a quote from Bailey, one of the GMs of the aviators who says, when we were on the clock at number one, we actually were looking at taking AU Gold with that first pick. I mean, what can you really say about AU Gold? They're a fantastic member of the league with huge credentials. The scouts of OBX had nothing but amazing to say about AU Gold, and from what we have seen, we know he will be such a great pick for us. This honestly was a no-brainer, so to be able to move back to four and still get the guy we valued at first, this was an amazing pick. We cannot wait to add AU Gold to the team and get them in the locker room. So congratulations to... Yaj out of <laughs> um, one of the uh, one of the big sim team heads uh, head streamer AU Gold uh, heading to OBX. So trying to read aviators on his chest is hurts. It just hurts. <laughs> you can, just turn your head upside down. Sorry, <laughs> as, uh, it works kind of. <laughs> so congratulations to Yaj out of and to the Outer Banks Aviators. Um, number four overall. And that brings us to number five. Number five overall, uh, we actually have a trade, and the Indianapolis Apex are going to receive this pick, and in exchange, the Providence Crabs are going to receive a lot of stuff here. 13 overall, season 34 and 35 Indianapolis first round picks, and season 34 Indianapolis third. So three firsts and a third for number five overall. This is a Big haul for the Crabs. Uh, Sorry and Paz, you both are in here. Do you guys want to talk about this trade a little bit? Sorry, bullied me into doing it. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> was a um, little... right. yeah, no, last year um, with Indy, we had like four first round picks and two second round picks. So it was definitely budget was definitely coming up on us. And there were some people on the board that we really liked. So I was completely fine with throwing some stuff in the future um, for this pick in general because of that. And I'm very happy with the person that we ended up getting. When the quote-unquote number one overall prospect prospect falls to five, you get teams calling. We had over half the league call for this pick, and uh, we got offered this trade, and it was a no-brainer. Couldn't turn it down. That's a that's a big haul for the Providence Crabs. I think uh, I think Providence is going to be very happy with that. Uh, but I think Apex are going to be very happy with the player they received. Paz, do you want to announce it? Yeah. So with the fifth overall pick, the Apex are going to select uh, Arthur Morgan, who is a schoolboy shoe first baseman for the California Firehawks. Shu is a very good friend of mine that I met pretty early on in the league and he's done a ton and i'm really happy that i'm finally able to gm him <laughs> even though we played on a team together in new york so it's going to be it's going to be fun it's going to be a good time uh, i'm really excited and happy birthday shoe for your birthday i'm getting you a one-way ticket to indianapolis uh <laughs> so that you can go join your uh your apex teammates uh, in a couple of seasons or one season, I don't know how long you're going to stay with the Firehawks, but uh, you're going to wind up in Indy when you're done with done in California. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Schoolboy Shoe, uh, one of the head office members, very prestigious uh, member of the league. Um, so uh, makes sense that Apex were willing to give up a bundle to uh, 
to make sure that they got their guy here. So congratulations to the Apex and to Schoolboy Shoe, school excuse me, uh, for being drafted here at number five overall. I'm sure Shoe was very surprised by this, considering that I was very surprised by it too. <laughs> so I was gonna say, considering that he he. Uh, I'm I'm sure he's surprised by like his name showing up there for the Apex, considering that he he has access to the draft channel as a member of HO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, that will bring us to number six overall. Uh, number six being uh, the New Orleans Rougarou selection. Uh, Eldorian, would you like to announce this pick as well? Yeah, for number six here we went with a position player this time, a center fielder by the name of Cross Erickson. User Tesla. Um, I had a great, like, I'll be honest, I didn't know Tesla all that well. Like, I knew about her. I've had a couple conversations with her. Mm -hmm. Um, But I haven't had, like, an in-depth conversation with her, really. Um, So when I was scouting her, um, one of the things that came up is she wants to be called up immediately as a magician center fielder and wants to break, uh, you know, center fielder defensive records. And we had an opening in the outfield where we could definitely do that. So it made a lot of sense for us to pick her up right here and uh, uh, get her uh, playing this next season. And honestly, like the war room and everybody was telling us, you know, get this, you know, get Tesla. We had, like, I don't think anybody's ever heard like a bad thing about Tesla. So she seems like a, a great person. So we wanted to go get her there. Yeah, well, congratulations to the New Orleans Rougarou, and be sure uh, everyone watching to keep an eye out for Cross Erickson in the majors on the New Orleans Rougarou this season, um, considering uh, that desire to uh, come up to the big leagues very quickly. Um, so congratulations to Tesla, Cross Erickson, for being drafted here at number six overall to the New Orleans Rougarou. Now bring us to number seven, that being the Maui Mako's uh, pick. Uh, however, with this number seven overall selection, the Maui Makos are actually going to trade it along with the season 34 Maui second rounder, uh, in addition, uh, in exchange, excuse me, for number 12 overall, uh, season 34 Buffalo second rounder and season 35 Sarasota third rounder, all from the Detroit Demons. Uh, so Diesel, you're in the, uh, you're in the voice call here. Uh, would you, uh, is this just a, is a trade down? You have so many, so many people that you liked, uh, at this position, couldn't decide. And so you decided to kind of trade down and get some added picks for it. Yeah. So, um, the idea kind of was that we, there was so many good players in this draft, first of all. So I really felt like seven or 12 were kind of equal. Uh, and on top of that, uh, me and Sparky are going to be recreating in the next couple of seasons. So um, we're just kind of like moving around, getting some extra picks here and there because uh, we're going to have to be using up our seconds and whatnot to draft ourselves. So this was just kind of about getting a little bit better value and uh, hedging our future, so to say. All right. Uh, so with that seven overall selection, Detroit is now on the clock, and Detroit Demons will select Stellan Apollo, third baseman from the California Firehawks organization, user the surreal or the five year real. I, I'm assuming it's the surreal with a five. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Uh, 216 TVE, 338 average, and 391 OBP for the Firehawks this season. Uh, do have a quote from Taco Shop. Uh, from one of the GMs of the Demons, who says, this was the number one player on our board going into the draft. It felt like the whole locker room was hyping him up, and after I scouted him, I got the same impression. He was a hard earner his first season, and I believe he will fill a huge hole for us at third base. So congratulations to the Surreal, who is in chat. <laughs> thank you for thank you for verifying that I got the, the uh, pronunciation correct there. <laughs> uh, so congratulations to you, the Surreal. Uh, you're headed to Detroit after your tenure in uh, California Firehawks land. Uh, and congrats to the Demons for getting who they uh, they really wanted, apparently. Their number one player on the board going to the draft to get them at seven is uh, probably a steal, uh, at least considered from the GM's perspective. So congratulations to the Demons, and congrats to Stellan Apollo for being drafted here at number seven. That will bring us to number eight. Number eight overall. 
is going to be the Buffalo Surge. The Surge, uh, with this number eight overall selection, are going to take Jacques Toussaint, user Seymour, starting pitcher from the Anchorage Wheelers organization. 212 TPE, 3.72 ERA, and a 1.46 WHIP uh, for their first uh, for their season in Anchorage. Uh, I do have a quote from one of the GMs, uh, Net, who says, "I've had a few people over the years strongly say that they want to be a surge player, and Seymour was one of them. His energy during the scouting process was amazing, and when we got him at eight, I was hyped. I can't wait to see what he does for us." So it sounds like a real uh, real match. Uh, for the surge and for Jacques Toussaint, uh, who uh, apparently really who apparently wanted to go to the surge. So uh, there you go, you got your wish. Congratulations, Seymour, uh, and congrats to the surge for uh, for drafting Jacques Toussaint here at number eight overall. And that will bring us to number nine overall, that being Detroit's next pick, Detroit Demons, uh, with another first rounder here. And with this number nine overall selection, the Detroit Demons will take Robbie Jackinson, user Moose Cop, shortstop from the Bruce City Bears, 213 TPE, 255 average, and a 391 OBP. Uh, quote from Taco Shop says, Moose is a hard and uh, it's a hard earning and well known earner in the league, and our war room was ecstatic. Uh, when he fell to our pick. This is a user that is on their third player iteration that have all had successful careers. It is also nice to bring over a familiar face that I was able to share locker rooms with back in San Antonio. Uh, so congratulations uh, to Moose Cop for being drafted at number nine overall here to the Detroit Demons. Uh, Best of the pick, if I have to say so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Paz. Uh, <laughs> There's, there's another uh, fantastic-looking PBE cap right there, by the way, too. Uh, so be sure to be sure to ask your local HO representative uh, when PBE hats are going to be in the store. Uh, <laughs> it's Been like asking for those for the past, what, two or three drafts? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've been asking quite a bit. We'll, yeah. we'll get there eventually. I have faith. So congratulations to Robbie Jackinson, Moose Cop, for being drafted at number nine overall. Uh, everyone in the chat's now talking about the caps. We need, we need PVE caps. I got my Vandals t-shirt on today. Uh, it would really go well with a hat. That's all I'm saying. Of course, then I wouldn't be able to hit, fit my, uh, headset over it, but, um, oh well. <laughs> Number 10 overall is the Providence Crabs. Providence Crabs, uh, traded, uh, their number 5 overall pick, but they will make a selection here at number 10. Uh, and with the number 10 overall selection, the Providence Crabs select Lowell Larack, user Blix900 uh, from the Kansas City Hepcats organization, a starting pitcher. Uh, 199 TPE, 3.83 ERA, and a 1.43 whip. I just realized, sorry, I should have had you announce this pick. I apologize. But you want to tell me a little bit about uh, Lowell Larack? No, it's okay. I'm not here. <laughs> No, uh, no, but while uh, Blix is uh, from the Hepcats, uh, we have a strong connection with the Hepcats with uh, d- drafting from the Hepcats and even having a lot of uh, our, my, a lot of my War Room members are in the War Room for Hepcats, so we're always got some first knowledge on Hepcats users, and it just so happens that Blix was like our third ranked pitcher in this draft, and to get him at 10 is pretty exciting for us. Were you guys uh, targeting pitching initially? Like, oh, is that kind of like the big target for you guys going into the draft? Uh, I would say we were definitely targeting batting more. But since the trade here, we were left with there was three batters at this pick we liked and only one pitcher. So we took our bets on the pitcher, and we're obviously going to get one of the batters at our pick at 13. Gotcha. So, all right. Uh, Congratulations to the... Uh, Providence Crabs for selecting Lowell Larack, and congrats to Blix900 for being selected here at number 10 overall. Um, and yeah, when you have a, a pick uh, like three uh, three picks lower, and you have like one pitcher in mind and three batters in mind, that's absolutely a fantastic strategy to take the pitcher, and then uh, you're you know you're gonna get one of those three for sure. So um, good strategy there. Uh, sorry, uh, we have number 11 overall being the San Antonio Sloths. Um, and the uh, with the number 11 overall selection, the Sloths will select Lenny Longpipe, 
Catcher from the Kansas City Hepcats organization. User Big Blue X02. Former player was Thomas Rose of the Nashville Stars. 188 TPE, 239 average, and a 305 OBP for the Hepcats. Uh, quote from Juosu says, uh, Heading into this draft, we had many targets at the top, and seeing how some of the early picks went def- uh, uh, sorry, seeing how some of the early picks went, definitely made it difficult for us to trade up in any form. So we waited until we were at our pick, and we were still delighted to see a couple of names there that we had hoped would get to us. It was a tough decision, but in the end, we had to go with Big Blue, who is an awesome person, very well liked in our war room, and obviously had an insanely impressive first player. Him falling to 11 is honestly shocking, but we are happy he did. Uh, we have Sweet Eye, a catcher currently, but he will face regression soon, and we believe we have just figured out our catcher position for the next 15 seasons or so. Uh, so congratulations uh, to... Uh, Juosu and the Sloths for selecting Big Blue X02, formerly Thomas Rose, currently Lenny Longpipe. Uh, and congrats to Big Blue for being selected by the San Antonio Sloths from one uh, top tier team in the uh, uh, in the division to another. The Sloths uh, uh, atop the Legends West uh, division for several seasons now. <laughs> um, and so I have a feeling that Big Blue XO2 is going to be uh, seeing some more team success uh, in their future. But you never know with the with the Vandals core coming up that uh, uh, they might have some competition. That's all I'll say. <laughs> and with the Makos uh, uh, coming up, uh, as well as coming up uh, with the next pick in the draft, number 12 overall, uh, Diesel, you want to announce this one? Alrighty, uh, coming from the other side of the Legends West... Mm-hmm. The the Maui Makos with the twelfth overall pick select Casey Mize, <clears throat> user uh, Jackers forty one. Um, so like way before this draft even started, uh, when Jackers retired, they basically were yelling at Sparky and me like, "Hey, uh, I really want to be a Mako." Uh, and then of course Sparky's yelling at me, "Draft Jackers, draft Jackers," and I was like, "Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how things pan out." And uh. In this draft, there was two people I really wanted. It was either dra- uh, Jackers or Big Blue. And uh, you see who went 11th overall, so it made the decision <laughs> even that much easier. And uh, I think we have a starter of the future here in Jackers, and I'm so happy to uh, give them the spot that they wanted. Yeah, Jackers 41, a recreate on KC Miz uh, or Mize. Uh, is, is it Miz or Mize? Do you know? I'm going to assume Mize. Okay. It's <laughs> Mize. It's yeah. Mize. Come on. Mize. Okay. <laughs> right, Casey Mize. Um, Jackers 41 uh, on a recreate. Uh, previous create was Jack Brady of Detroit Demons fame. Uh, so congratulations, Jackers 41, for being drafted here at number 12 overall. And congrats to the Makos for getting uh, their starting pitcher in Casey Mize of the Armadillos organization. Uh, and that will bring us to number 13 overall. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to forget about you a second time, I promise. <laughs> Would you like to announce your pick here? Sure, sure. <laughs> With the 13th overall pick, the Province Crabs select Whiskey Fuse, second baseman. Second. Or shortstop. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not a shortstop on the slide. It, was middle, in, it was middle infield. I knew that it was middle infield. <laughs> It was middle of I'm sorry. <laughs> I very quickly checked my notes. Uh, but yeah, Whiskey Fuse, uh, user jumbo from the Brew City Bears. Uh, 223 TP, 287 average, 326 OBP. Uh, talk to me a bit about jumbo, uh, sorry. Uh, actually, there was, uh, once again, a lot of people asking to trade up for this pick. Uh, we really liked the user here, uh, especially with uh, Blue coming off the board. Uh at 11, this was like our next, this was a person we, Blue and Jumbo, who were, is who we were talking about at 10. Um, but like I said, we took the pitcher and hoped one of them would fall to us, and we did. We got Jumbo here, and as soon as we made the pick, we had several GMs complimenting us on the pick who they wanted to trade up and get. And that's always, that's always a good feeling. That's, that's happened to me a couple of times, too, when I was the, the, the GM of the Vandals. Was, it's always it's always nice to make a pick, and then all the GMs are like, oh, great pick, great, great pick. Great feeling, great feeling. <laughs> Makes you feel really confident in, in uh, the decision that you made. So, 
Um, so congratulations to uh, to Jumbo for being selected here at number 13, Bruce City Bears teammate um, of mine. Uh, well, I mean, not like concurrent teammate, but we're both Bruce City Bears, so teammate in that regard. So congratulations, Jumbo, uh, and congratulations to the Providence Crabs for uh, selecting Whiskey Fuse here at number 13 overall. Time to go look at a glass of whiskey. <laughs> yes. Go get a glass of whiskey to celebrate. Um, and that will bring us to number 14 overall, that being the New York Voyagers pick. Uh, Enoch, you still there? Yes, I am. All right. Would you like to announce this pick? Yeah. At the, at for the 14th overall, uh, the New York Voyagers select Kyle Stogowski. Or, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering it because I know I butchered it during the <laughs> prospect showcase, and I'll continue doing it because that's just how it rolls. Uh, the user is Jaster um, from the Bruce City Bears. And, um, yeah, so uh, we were really looking at bats coming in. Uh, we are hoping for people who would be willing to be flexible. We, um, and um, uh, both Punk and I had good conversations with him. And um, uh, he he is one that seemingly is, has a competitive spirit and wants to be you know in, in New York. And that's something that uh, I've always looked for is that people who want to be there because you know, um, you know we are uh, yeah so so uh, we're we're very happy with this pick um, and I, I don't think there was a, a better selection at that time. Uh, and um, so we're looking forward to uh, what he can do for us uh, in, in the coming season. All right. So congratulations to Jaster of the Bruce City Bears, uh, another Bears teammate, uh, Kyle Stogowski. Uh, we have back-to-back uh, -back Bears picks here and back-to-back -back, uh, excellent locker room presences in both uh, Jumbo and Jaster. Both of them have been uh, very active in the Bears locker room and very friendly. Uh, I, I think both uh, the Crabs and the Voyagers are going to be very happy with, uh, with their Bears draftees here. Uh, so congratulations uh, to the Voyagers for selecting Kyle Stogowski, and congrats to Jaster for being selected here at number 14. That brings us to number 15 overall, the Seattle Sea Serpents. Now, we actually, uh, in, the mean in the meantime from when we uh, first uh, introduced the GMs, uh, it looks like Brainchild has joined us. How you doing, Brain? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, so you and uh, you and your co-GMC does IT. The two of you uh, can fight over who gets to announce this pick. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually still sitting in my boat, so he's gonna have to name it. <laughs> okay. Um, he's out fishing. Uh, how about how about this? Why don't you read it off, and I'll go ahead and give the analysis. Go ahead, Jay. Let's go, AJ. Let's see that pronunciation skill. All right, number 15 overall, the Seattle Sea Serpents will select Hatsu Karo, uh, left fielder from the Puerto Rico Ranas Association, user Nylar the Phoenix. Uh, I apologize if I butchered the name. Uh, C does IT really kind of threw me under the bus there. <laughs> but talk, talk to uh, me about uh, about Hatsu here. I only did it because of the Mize thing, and being a Detroit <laughs> fan, that kind of bothered me inside, so I had to put you on the spot like that. But no, Nylar was somebody that we had seen in the process. Um, we had gone through and you know done our due diligence like everyone else is doing, and we had seen the prior players from almost two years ago. And I think people were giving him a little bit more of a bad rap than he deserved. It's been two years. The guy's already surpassed his last two players and looks like an amazing prospect at this point. I had talked to Legion of Slugs, the GM Puerto Rico, and he just told us to draft him. He said that this guy has been one of the most committed and most active members of our community that we've ever had. He's been posted in box scores. He's been active during the games. That's the kind of person you want in your locker room. And, you know, our locker room has already become a, a good group of people. There's a lot of different personalities and a lot of just fun people to get around and talk and you know, hop into VCs during games. This is another person we think is going to contribute to that presence that we have already. So I'm really happy to get Nalar in here. Can't wait to send him the invite and uh, can't wait to go run him back, get another championship with him. Sounds good. So uh, congratulations to Nylar, who is in the chat. Apparently, internet decided to go out. Uh, can't hear what we're saying. Very sorry to hear that, Nylar. Don't worry, the VOD will be up uh, on Twitch 
uh, and it will probably be uploaded to YouTube uh, as well. Uh, most of these streams are, so uh, don't worry, you can watch it back if you need to. Um, but congrats to Nylar of the Puerto Rico Ranas Association for being drafted here at number 15 overall to the Seattle Sea Serpents, and congrats to Seattle uh, for drafting Hatsu Kauru. Kauru. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that brings us to number 16 overall, this being the Outer Banks Aviators. Um, and with the number 16 overall selection, the Outer Banks Aviators will take Cole Kim, catcher from the Anchorage Wheelers Association, uh, user AW13, former GM of the Outer Banks Aviators. Um, uh, previous create was uh, Walker Cato, uh, if that name rings a bell for any of you younger users, um, or newer users, I should say. Uh, 225 TP, 207 average, and a 291 OBP for Anchorage last season. Uh, congratulations to AW13. We do have a quote from Bailey, one of the current OBX GMs, who says... Uh, I do not think this pick was much of a surprise to anyone. We uh, we knew we wanted to get AW back because of what he means to OBX, so we are more than thrilled to get him here with the 16th pick. I could go on for days what this guy means to the team in the locker room, so we are absolutely psyched to get him here and that he fell to us. This is another easy pick. So congratulations uh, to AW13 for returning to the Aviators, and congrats to OBX for, uh, for getting your former GM, uh, AW13, Cole Kim, uh, locking up that catcher position, I'm sure, for several seasons to come. And look at that Outer Banks Aviators hat. Doesn't that hat look good uh, with the orange and the Outer Banks Aviators logo? That's all I'm going to say. We're going to move on from the first round. There is the first round draft board. Be sure to get a screenshot now if you want one. Uh, and then we're moving on to the second round draft board. Three, two, one, your chance is over. <laughs> just, just just as a reminder, I should say, uh, all of these, uh, these drafts, uh, the, the draft and all of the, these trades will be posted on the forum uh, either later tonight or later this week or this weekend. They will be posted shortly, so if you wanted to look back on any of it uh, in text form, you can absolutely do so. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Number 17 overall, the Outer Banks Aviators are back on the clock with their second round, with their first second round selection. Looks like they have two on the board in this, uh, in this round. We'll see if that second round, uh, if that second, second rounder stays. Uh, but they are going to make a selection here at number 17. And with number 17 overall, they will select Caesar, uh, Aj Ajwa J Ajwa <laughs> I am so sorry. Um Mr. Sinet, I know you're in the chat. Uh please correct me on the pronunciation. <laughs> Relief pitcher from the Louisville Lemurs, 212 TPE, 3.91 ERA, 1.20. I am a streamer for the, the uh, regular season broadcasts, so I will need to know this name. Um, but please, okay, Aswahe? Aswahe. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Stanett, <laughs> for correcting me there. Uh, so, number 17 overall, Bailey, the one of the GMs of the Outer Banks Aviators, has this to say. Uh, I do not think this one was much of a surprise either. Stanett obviously was a huge part of OBX for a long period of time, so to see him fall to the second round, there was no way we were letting him go any further than that. We absolutely love Stenny, and as an OBX Hall of Famer member, we had to take the plunge and go with him here. Stanett is such a great earner, a great person, and the easy selection here. So congratulations to Mr. Stanett, uh, Caesar Aswahe, uh, for being selected here. Uh... At number 17 overall by the Outer Banks Aviators, and congrats to the Aviators for getting their uh, getting one of their relief pitchers for the future. <clears throat> uh, and that will bring us to number 18 overall. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I got caught off guard by Jess's comment of my favorite streams are the ones I do with AJ where we get to a name and we both just go dead silent for like 10 seconds hoping the other person knows how to say it. This is a, unfortunately a very true scenario, but uh, we move on to number 18 overall, the Seattle Sea Serpents uh, selection. C does IT. Uh, you, want to, uh, you want to announce this one for us? Yeah, I'll go ahead and give this one a shot with the... Oh, with the second pick in the second round of the PBE draft, uh, the Seattle Sea Serpents are going to select Horace Lynch, uh, Redria, 
who was somebody that I've known for, uh, shoot, going on three years now, something like that. Uh, and I've tried to get him to create for this league for probably the last seven to eight seasons. And to my own discredit here, I've never sent him the link until now. So I guess that one's on me. Um, but no, I, I've known this guy forever. Uh, he's always wanted to be a closer. And being a former closer myself who's experienced those ups and downs of being a relief pitcher, I'm just really looking forward to seeing if I can mold this into another one of those Seattle-type relievers. You know, the clones that are all left-handed. <laughs> uh, that's what this is. But no, Redger is one of the coolest people I've talked to before. Uh, actually going to the Indy 500 with him this weekend. Bauer, you should come. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a great time having him in our locker room, and I'm just really happy we're able to get him here at 18. So gonna, welcome to the be, squad. It's going to be the next Jackson DeMarco? Hopefully. <laughs> I, I'm really hoping to. I, you know, I haven't named my true successor. I think that Rocket Puppy is doing it right now, but, you know, there's always a chance. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye out for Horace Lynch, uh, soon to be in the Seattle Teal, uh, a little bit further down the line. Um, user Redria Relief Pitcher. Congratulations, Redria, uh, for being selected here at number 18 overall by the Seattle Sea Serpents. And congrats to Seattle uh, for getting Horace Lynch at number 18. That will bring us to number 19 overall, that being the Indianapolis Apex. Uh, Paz, uh, this is uh, this is one of your selections. Do you want to announce it? I see you're still muted. Yeah, it's a cap <laughs> penalty. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why not, it wasn't shown on there. Not, but, the actual, um, not the actual player cap penalty, but... No, correct, yeah. It was a forfeited <laughs> pick um, because of penalties going back a few years that were just not paid, so HO gotcha. busted down on Indy. SMH, HO, HO sticky. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, we will move on then uh, from number 18 and... Uh, uh, or sorry, number 19, and move on to number 20, uh, that being from the San Antonio Sloths. Uh, however, the San Antonio Sloths are actually going to trade it to the Buffalo Surge. The Buffalo Surge are going to send the Season 34 Indianapolis second round and the Season 36 Buffalo third round uh, for this second rounder here. Uh, Juosu actually had a comment on this trade saying, while there were some people we liked here, cap is always an issue for the sloths, and we couldn't pass up an offer like that. So instead, the Buffalo Surge are now selecting here at number 20 overall. Uh, and with that number 20 overall, uh, Buffalo is going to select Lord Burrow the Third. All hail. All hail Lord, the Lord Burrow the Third. Catcher from the California Firehawks organization, user LSU Fan 101. Uh, previous create was Joe Burrow. Um, TPE 179 on uh, uh, 324 average and a 354 OBP. Uh, Net submitted a quote saying, LSU fan and I have been heavily connected outside of the PVE, and after a long time, we are finally teammates. I can't wait to get to work with him in Buffalo. So congratulations to LSU fan uh, Lord Burrow the Third. All hail the Lord of the Burrows. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on being drafted here to the Buffalo Surge at number 20 overall. Uh, and that will bring us to number 21 overall, that being the Death Valley Scorpions. Um, and I believe this is a cap penalty as well? Yes, cap penalty. <laughs> okay, I wanted to make sure, but yes, this is indeed a cap penalty. Um, and that will bring us to the next pick, the Sarasota Supernovas. Um, and the Sarasota Supernovas are going to select Carter King at, number pick, at pick number 22, User KH Creator, uh, relief pitcher from the Florida Flamingos, 179 TPE, 7.20 ERA, and a 1.93 whip. Uh, those numbers are uh, a little bit high, but this is the rookie career, so it's, uh, it can only get better from here, <laughs> from the 7.20 ERA, hopefully, uh, for Carter King. So congratulations uh, to uh, KH Creator for being selected here uh, by the Sarasota Supernovas at pick number 22. Excuse me. And congratulations to the Sarasota Supernovas uh, for getting uh, one of their relief pitchers of the future in Carter King. 
That will bring us to the Makos at pick number 23. Uh, Diesel, you around? Yeah, so uh, some really stinky GM uh, named C Does IT decided to put us deep into the penalty, so uh, we drafted <laughs> uh, some cap penalty. Uh, okay, so we have another cap penalty here uh, from season 32. Uh, Doing my service. Good job. <laughs> uh, Maui getting hit by the cap penalty as well. We got three cap penalties already in the second round. That's wild. Um, and that will bring us to number 24 overall, uh, that being the Vancouver Vandals selection, their first pick of this draft. And I can tell you that it is not a cap penalty. I can assure you of that, um, because I actually have a quote from Musha about the, uh, upcoming player pick here. So with that number 24 overall selection, the Vancouver Vandals are going to select Les Harm. Uh, a relief pitcher from the Kansas City Hepcats organization, user Frostis, 207 TPE, 1.66 ERA, and a 1.24 whip. Um, less harm. Thank you. Uh, congratulations uh, for being drafted to the Vandals. I do have that quote from Musha, who says, Not having a first round pick, we were excited to see harm on the board, and it was a no brainer at this selection. They come highly recommended from their minors' GMs. We look forward to seeing what great things they can do as we welcome them into the Vandal army. Welcome, welcome, Harm, to Vancouver. Uh, I will join you in the locker room after the stream and say hello. Um, Frostis, I, I did kind of look into a little bit uh, earlier. Uh, looks like they already have a, a SIG shop, a signature shop up and running, or um, or have been making signatures for PBE users. So already making those graphics for uh, uh, for other users in the PBE. One day, uh, one day you might see that uh, a render by by Frostis down here in the corner. Who knows? Uh, but congratulations to Frostis for being selected here at number 24. We're very excited to have you. Uh, and congrats to the Vancouver Vandals for selecting less harm uh, Frostis at number 24 overall. And that will bring us to the Aviators again at number 25. Uh, and at number 25 overall, the Outer Banks Aviators are going to select... Tucker Montgomery, starting pitcher, user, putting MC beds together. Uh, this is a user that has been around a couple of times. They've done, uh, they had Vincent uh, Yvonne as one of their first creates, and then uh, Kei Fujisaki um, as another create, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Now they have Tucker Montgomery, uh, a starting pitcher from the Florida Flamingos organization. Uh, 183 TPE, 6.21 ERA, and a 1.71 whip. I do have a quote from Bailey who says, Our scouts had an amazing chat with PMT. I am calling them that for short. Uh, they really had nothing but good things to say about this person. Pitching was a need of ours, so to be able to get him at 25, we were absolutely psyched with the addition. We look forward to getting them into our locker room. So congratulations. Um putting MC beds together PMT or Astamagion, um, as is known on Discord and in Twitch. I see you in the chat. <laughs> Congratulations for being selected here at number 25 overall by the Outer Banks Aviators. Um, and that will bring us to number 10. Or, sorry, not number 10 overall. <laughs> These numbering systems are getting a little bit confusing for me. <laughs> number 26 overall, uh, the Providence Crabs. Uh, sorry, you want to announce this pick? Oh, yes, I would love to. It is the fourth of its kind, and uh, it'll be cap penalty. Hey, more cap penalties. Uh, forfeit by the Crabs, Sloths, and Toros. The next three picks all forfeit due to cap penalties. Um, Hi, Gold. <laughs> um, and so that will bring us instead to the Supernovas uh, next pick which I'm assuming is not a cap penalty considering that it would have shown up with the Sloths and the Toros as well. Um, but here we go. Um, with the number 30, sorry, number 20, 6, 7, 8, 9, number 29th overall selection, uh, the Sarasota Supernovas are going to take Scani McSticks, user G2019 of the Swift Steeds, third baseman from that organization, 179 TPE, Average 262 with 328 last season. Um, this is a uh, let's see a third baseman from uh, the Swifties. We do have uh, let's see a couple notes streak uh, archetype uh, already bumping up the I patience and the Babip. 
So looking to be focusing a little bit on the bat there. Third base, second base, and shortstop. So definitely an infielder um, recruited by Moosey. So uh, joining Moosey on the Sarasota Supernovas. Uh, so that's got to be fun, uh, getting to join the team of the, the person that recruited you. So uh, congratulations to Scotty McSticks for being drafted here uh, at number 29 overall to the Supernovas. And that will bring us to number uh, 30, <laughs> the New York Voyagers. My brain just melted there for a second. Number 30 overall. Uh, Enoch, is, is this a cap penalty or is this a pick? This is a penalty. It's a penalty? All right. Imagine having money. <laughs> All right, season 30 uh, and season 30, or sorry, season 32, uh, pick number 30. Uh, sorry, wow, my brain is just being destroyed by this humidity. Season 32 cap penalties will eliminate the 30th, 31st, and 32nd picks of this draft. Voyagers, Sea Serpents, and Stars all got hit with that uh, unfortunate cap penalty forfeit uh, loss of a pick. Uh, so this is quite a lot of second round picks lost to the cap penalty, which means that, there's, that there could be potential for, uh, for steals in the third round, you know, like second round talent that could have been picked up with some of these forfeit picks could be dropping to the third round. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, looks like nine out of this. Wow. Nine out of the 16 available picks were forfeit by cap penalty. Only only seven players were picked in the second round. That is wild to me. All right, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna move right along then uh, to the third round. Uh, and so number thirty three overall, um, we do have a trade. Actually, the Outer Banks Aviators are gonna send number thirty three overall to Sarasota. And in return, Sarasota is sending back their season 36 third and their season 35 fourth. So Outer Banks Aviators getting a couple of picks here for that number 33 overall. Uh, and Sarasota Supernovas have traded into the third round. Uh, and with this third round pick, the Sarasota Supernovas are going to select Alvaro Chapman, user Alvaro Chapman, uh, and as well as position, or, well, player Alvaro Chapman. I almost said position player, but they're a relief pitcher from the Bruce City Bears organization, a fellow Bears teammate, uh, 165 TPE, 4.30 ERA, and a 1.70 whip. Uh, so congratulations to Alvaro Chapman for being selected here at number 33 overall. Uh, <clears throat> Chapman uh, actually recruited by Hummus God, so um, another player joining uh, the person that they recruited on the uh, Sarasota Supernovas. Or the person, the person that recruited them, I should say. Uh, flamethrower relief pitcher, all, velocity already up to 96 to 98, with a high fastball, uh, slider, and a changeup uh, in their repertoire. Is that hat available? No, I wish it was. Look at that hat. That is that is beautiful, right there. The red hat with the Supernovas logo. That is just excellent. My gosh, Chapman is ripped. Oh my. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Number. <laughs> Number 34 overall um, is the San Antonio Sloths. Um, uh, in, and so with the number 34 overall selection, the second uh, pick in the third round. Um, no, I am not crushing on Chapman. God, no. <laughs> um, I'm just you, you are. I'm just... In, okay. No, I'm just... I No. I, I don't want to get into, like politics here but I'm, I'm not i do not want anything to do with the role as chapman I'm just i didn't realize he was that swole either i saw uh, yeah, like, damn I he's just, ripped i was like he's a former <laughs> cub i remember him from that and i don't remember him being that ripped but wow okay moving on <laughs> number 34 overall uh sloths are going to select jose arcadio buendia user raid the arcade Relief pitcher from the Chicago Kingpins organization, 180 TPE, 5.08 ERA, and a 1.44 whip. Quote from Juos who says, Heading into this draft, our biggest need was a bullpen arm for the near future, and we found it in the third round here. The user is well-liked in our war room, and it has connections through the Kingpins. We think we have found a great value pick here in the third round. Look forward to seeing him on our team. 
So congratulations to uh, Raid the Arcade, Jose Arcadio Buendia, for being selected here at number 34 overall by the San Antonio Sloths. And congrats to San Antonio for uh, getting a relief pitcher for the future. I'm going to mute real quick to take a drink. Oh, Solid Snake 423 in the chat thing. Um, congratulations for being selected to the Sloths. Um, and that will bring us to number 35 overall, the New York Voyagers. Enoch, is this another cap penalty, or are you going to make a pick here? No. Okay. Would you like we're, to we're this one? <laughs> uh, yeah, so at number 35, we select uh, Lemmy Petit. Petit, uh, Petit, 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 Petit I don't know. I don't know how to actually say that. <laughs> uh, the formal name is the real Buzz, buzz um, and uh, oh, hey, it's Andy Pettit. <laughs> That's a good render. <laughs> so, um, so uh, yeah, we came into this knowing that we had a relatively high third, and uh, we were targeting a relief pitcher, and uh, there were a few that we we liked, and um, and I had a good chat with with Buzz. Um, he is, um, he is a, uh, he is a, uh, uh, SHL GM? Yeah, he's a SHL GM, and, um, he had a player, actually, on the Voyagers before, um, but, uh, we, like I said, I was looking for a relief pitcher, and I think that, you know, we could work with him to help him to have a relatively successful career, and, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to, um, Having another team and seeing we can go. Oh wow! I was I was looking back at their player profile uh, on JSync to see what their previous create was. Uh, Sebastian Randall in September Sebastian of, Randall, yeah. in September of 2019. So that was yeah, he was in my class. He was in my wow. original player's class. That was a while so ago. So that, that's <laughs> the name. Yeah, that's, the name rung a bell when I when I saw it. I was like, oh, I think I think it was like a later like. Like draft pick somewhere along the way, and Gosh. and uh, well, well uh, yeah. Well, welcome back, uh, the real fuzz, uh, on your new player, Lemmy Pettit, uh, flamethrower relief pitcher from the California Firehawks, heading to New York, uh, when your minor's career is done. So, congratulations on being drafted here at number 35 overall to the New York Voyagers. Um, and that will bring us to the next pick, um, and that's going to be the uh, 36th overall selection by the Buffalo Surge. Uh, and at number 36 overall, the Buffalo Surge are going to forfeit it due to a regression penalty. So that brings us actually to the Boise Raptors uh, here at number 37. Um, and that will bring us, uh, and uh, sorry, I just wanted to, okay. Uh, and so with the number 37 overall selection, the Boise Raptors will select 250 a relief pitcher from the Louisville Lemurs organization, user J2233. And we do have a quote from Jess who says, uh, J is, uh, actually somebody that I know from the SHL. He's a juniors GM there and we all love our J GMs. And I know how very passionate and involved he can be with his teams. He also knows several of our young up and coming players, and we are thrilled to be able to grab him here and look forward to the enthusiasm he will bring to our locker room. So congratulations to J2233 for being selected uh, at number 37 overall to the Boise Raptors, and congrats to the Raptors uh, for getting this relief pitcher from the Louisville Lemurs. Uh, 250 uh, picked at number 37. That will bring us to number 38 overall. That being the New Orleans Rougarou. Uh, Eldorian, uh, is, this a, is this a pick to announce? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a forfeit <laughs> cap penalty. All right, so <laughs> we'll move on to the Seattle Sea Serpents then. Uh, at number, uh, let's see, 36, 37, 38, 39, 42. Uh, I don't know, some number. <laughs> uh, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 39 Seattle Sea Serpents. Uh, C does IT. Uh, is this a pick? This is actually a pick. All right. Would you like to announce it? Yeah. With uh, pick 39, we have taken 
Uh, Evan Beeler, EB14 here from the Kingpins. Uh, actually adding another Kingpins pitcher to our roster here since we just took one in Redria. Uh, I don't know about you guys here, but uh, I like baseball. I hope you all like baseball. <laughs> and this guy, talking to him, he's the one who likes baseball. Does a little bit of coaching on the side for uh, Little League teams and stuff. One of those people that we think is going to fit in really well. Um, we've been talking a little bit on the side, waiting for some updates and such. So I'm definitely looking forward to adding a little bit more pitching. Um, our team, you know, getting a little bit older. So looking for those new, fresh, young players who are ready to step up and make an impact. All right. So congr- Not a lefty. Not so. a lefty. He is a, a righty flamethrower starting pitcher uh, with the fastball change of curveball uh, as their pitches. Uh, so congratulations to Evan Beeler, EB14, for being selected here at pick number 39. And congrats to the Seattle Sea Serpents for drafting Evan Beeler here. That will bring us to uh, pick number 40. Yeah, 40. Uh, that being the Boise Raptors. Uh, number 40 overall, the Boise Raptors will select Skeeter Rabbit, user Black Nasty, second baseman from the Puerto Rico Ranas organization, 100 TP, 259 average, 322 OBP. That is an incredible render uh, and an incredible hat. I just... Uh, <laughs> I gotta bring up the hats every single time, otherwise they won't pay attention to me. Um, but like, I, I love that you actually that Sarah actually did like the reflection too of the rabbit in the in the pond. Uh, really funny. Uh, this is actually uh, the TPE is actually a little inaccurate here. It's 171 TPE currently uh, for Skeeter Rabbit uh, of the Puerto Rico Ranas using the Freak archetype. Uh, already boosting up the power a little bit. Uh, as well as the BABIP. Uh, second base, shortstop, and third base are their three positions, so definitely an infielder of the future for the Boise Raptors. Uh, so congratulations uh, to Skeeter Rabbit, uh, Black Nasty, for being selected here by the Boise Raptors at pick number 40. Um, people in chat already saying that there's a steal <laughs> on, on the board here. So congratulations to Skeeter Rabbit. Uh, and that will bring us to number 41, that being the Detroit Demons selection. And at number 41, the Detroit Demons are going to select Peter Ness, user Pythonic, uh, starting pitcher from the Florida Flamingos organization. Uh, let's see. Peter Ness is a uh, junk baller starting pitcher with 153 TPE, 4.83 ERA, and a 1.52 whip last season for the Florida Flamingos. Uh, has the circle change, fork ball, and the cutter um, all in the 50s already. So focusing on the pitches um, and focusing on the movement a little bit too. Already getting those up uh, to 53 versus lefties and 50 versus righties. Uh, congratulations to Peter Ness, uh, user Pythonic, uh, for being drafted uh, here by the Detroit Demons at number 41. And that will bring us to the Providence Crabs. Uh, Sori actually had to dip out, so uh, unfortunately Sori is not around, so I will make this selection. Uh, well, I will announce the selection for the Providence Crabs. I didn't make it. I promise I'm not the shadow GM of the Crabs or anything. Don't tell anyone. Uh, just kidding. It's a cap penalty. <laughs> uh, for the Crabs and the Sloths, both of them uh, unable to make picks here. So that will bring us instead to the Death Valley Scorpions at number 44. And with the number 44 overall selection, the Death Valley Scorpions are going to take Leonidas Onor. O- Onor? Onor? Honor? Relief pitcher from the Chicago Kingpins, user DJ Onor. Uh... 181 TPE, 4.40 ERA, and a 1.36 whip. Um, Leonidas, um, the relief pitcher, is a... um, Excuse me. Uh, Sorry about that. Flamethrower relief pitcher, already up to a 96 to 98 velocity, with a fastball, sinker, and cutter in their pitching repertoire. Uh, We do have a quote from Cal who says that we didn't plan to make any picks during this draft, but after my conversation with DJ Onar, I didn't, I really didn't think we could pass on him. We were extremely excited to be able to trade this pick and expect Leonidas to be a big part of our future. 
I said trade for this pick. Is there a trade that I missed? Yes. Uh, it's, uh, was there... what is it? it says Cancun sends 44 overall for uh, DVS's season 34 third. Oh, okay. Must have been a missed trade then. Okay, so season 34 third uh, for this third for, uh, from Cancun. So Death Valley. Uh, obtained this pick from Cancun uh, and selected Leonidas Onor. So congratulations uh, to Leonidas uh, for being selected to the Death Valley Scorpions here. And that will bring us to uh, the Nashville Stars at pick number 45. And just kidding, all the rest of the ra all the rest of the third round is forfeit due to cap penalty. Man, these GMs just cannot stay underneath the cap, huh? Uh, I, I say in a group ch group call with five GMs. <laughs> um, but yeah. Raise the cap! Raise the cap! Oh. <laughs> no, lower the cap. Lower the cap. <laughs> uh, that will bring us to the third round. Compensation pick for Detroit. And this compensation pick is also lost to cap penalty, so that was kind of... Yeah. Compensation round. Yeah. Next slide. <laughs> Fourth round. Fourth round, we have uh, number 50 overall uh, belonging to the Outer Banks Aviators. However, they are going to trade it. The season 35, this is wild to me, season 35 Buffalo third straight up for the fourth round pick here uh, from the Aviators. So Buffalo uh, trading away a third round pick for a fourth round pick, which is interesting. Um, so now Buffalo Surge are on the clock. Uh, and so with this number 50 overall selection, the Buffalo Surge are going to take Justin Justice, user Funny Man Luke, uh, third baseman from the Anchorage Wheelers organization. Um, and so this is going to, uh, be, let's see, 173 TPE, 300 average, and a 359 OBP for Funny Man Luke. Net, the GM from Buffalo, says, same as Burrow, Funny Man Luke and I have also been linked outside PBE, and I can't believe he fell all the way to 50. I love this pick, and I can't wait to have him do great things. So congratulations uh, to Buffalo for selecting Justin Justice here. Um, <laughs> objections! <laughs> I like it. I like a diesel. Um, and so that will bring us to number 51, Overall, the Sarasota Supernovas. And with the number 51 overall selection, the Supernovas will select Duckbert McQuack. Uh, not sure if there's any relation to Champ McQuack, uh, former Supernovas pitcher. Um, but congratulations to uh, Duckbert, the, uh, the user. First baseman from the Amarillo Armadillos organization. Um, they are a freak archetype. With 52 power, uh, first base, third base, and shortstop are their uh, primary positions. So congratulations to Duckbert for being selected here at number 51 overall by the Sarasota Supernovas. And congrats to the Supernovas for getting their first baseman of the future in Duckbert McQuack. Uh, and that will bring us to the number 50... Two overall selection, that being the Indianapolis Apex. Paz, uh, still around there? I am still here. So we actually do have a pick this time, which is nice instead of a cap penalty. And uh, with Indy's pick in the fourth round, um, we are selecting Tony Heater. Username is GKCO or zero. I think it's an O. Um, we got uh, some messages back from them in regards to scouting and whatnot, and we were definitely looking for a pitcher here that, and the player's still active, so definitely happy to get them, and uh, hopefully they can be a pivotal part of Indy in the future. All right, I, I wanted to check to make sure, and yes, that 100 TPE um, has now been upgraded to 155 TPE from GKCO. Uh, Tony Heater, the junk baller, starter pit, starting pitcher archetype with the circle change curveball and sinker, headed to Indianapolis. So congrats to the Apex for drafting Tony Heater here, and congrats to GKCO for being drafted to the Apex here. Um, 
at number 52 overall. Moving on to 53 overall, Buffalo Surge back on the clock, and the Surge will select, uh, I apologize, I'm going to butcher this name, Karim Faker, uh, relief pitcher from the Puerto Rico Ranas, user CU Man, SIU Man, uh, picked here at number 53, 133 TPE, 3.35 ERA, and a 1.34 whip. Um, congratulations to SIU Man, CU Man, for being selected here. Um, to the Buffalo Surge at pick number 53, uh, and congrats, uh, to the Buffalo Surge for getting, uh, another relief pitcher. I do have a quote from Net who says, his goal, the GOAT, and I want to be there for that even better than, even better that we were the ones who got him. Uh, Faker has a big mindset and we want to help him achieve those goals. So congrats to the Buffalo Surge and congrats to Kareem Faker. Uh, and that will bring us to number 50, uh, 54 overall. The Boise Raptors are going to trade this pick. Uh, number 54 overall now going to the Buffalo Surge. And in exchange, Boise receives the season 34 Buffalo fourth round pick. Excuse me. Once again, all these trades will be uh, shown on the j forum. Uh, so we're just going to kind of quickly move on. Uh, if you want to see those trades, you can, uh, head on to the forum a little bit later when they're, when they're, uh, moved to the trades sub forum by HO. Um, and that will bring us to the Buffalo surge yet again, uh, for their third pick in the fourth round here. Um, and so with the number 54 overall selection, Buffalo surge are selecting Matthew West starting pitcher from the California Firehawks organization user Sachs. TPE 127, 4.96 ERA, and a 1.52 whip. Net says, quote, Some sources have even called this pick the steal of the draft, and I'm taking those chances. West gave me a great report, and we had a long talk about Buffalo Wings, which is perfect for Buffalo. I wonder if they like the Buffalo... like Buffalo Wings, I'm not sure... Is that the, are they talking about the Buffalo Sauce and not Buffalo Wild Wings, the... Restaurant? I don't know. I had Buffalo Wild Wings for lunch today. Anyway, <laughs> congrats to Matthew West for being drafted here uh, to Buffalo, and congrats to the Surge for drafting Matthew West. Moving on now to number 56 overall, the New Orleans Rougarou. Uh, Eldorian? I'm pretty sure that the Surge came up to us and we were like, hey, you want to trade this? And we said yes. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Surge uh, are going to receive number 55 overall, and in exchange, Nola is receiving the season 36 Buffalo fourth. So Buffalo really trading into this fourth round here. Look at this. Four Buffalo picks in the fourth round out of the first six picks. So the Surge uh, are instead uh, going to uh, make a selection here, and with the number 55 overall selection, the Buffalo Surge select Kyle Atwater. Uh, Net says, quote, our final selection, Atwater, was a dude who I didn't want to miss, a sneaky pick who I think went under the radar, and a dude who is going to help Buffalo's future greatly. User Rylock, starting pitcher from the Puerto Rico Ranas, 125 TPE, 6.02 ERA, and a 1.76 whip. Uh, congratulations to Kyle Atwater, user Rylock, for being selected uh, at number 55 here by the Buffalo Surge. That is now four Buffalo Surge picks in the fourth round. And uh, that kind of spoiled it a little bit saying our final selection, but uh, this number six, this uh, last pick in the fourth round, it's, it's not going to be used. Um, we'll move on to the Makos here uh, at number 56. Uh, Diesel, uh... Want to talk about this one a bit? Alrighty, so um, it's getting kind of late in the draft, as you'll start to notice. Um, and there was one person left on the board who I I just couldn't let go any further. Uh, you you may look at their TPE and things and their name and kind of go like, oh, why why are they this slow? Uh, and the reason is, um, so with this pick we drafted, uh, we drafted Gurin Voodoo. Uh, user Gurn Wudu, or Wudo, I don't know how to say it. He, he always confuses me because I don't watch Pokemon. Uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, the main thing is Gurn wants to stay in the minors uh, all five seasons, and 
I decided at this point, this deep into the draft, I w- I'm okay accommodating that. And uh, we, we talked a bunch. Uh, he kind of wanted to be a Mako's lifer a little bit. So uh, hopefully we can work that out. And once his five seasons in the minors is over, he'll come up and hang out with us. I mean, he's an OG. He helped create the team. So I'm really happy to have him back. He's a really close friend of mine. All right. Well, congratulations to Gurren Wudu for being drafted here to the Maui Makos, to the team uh, uh, that you wanted to head that you wanted to head to. Uh, Gurren Wudu, starting pitcher for the Amarillo Armadillos, um, with the 197 TPE, 5.09 and 1.51 WHIP. And congrats to the Makos for selecting uh, Gurren here in the fourth round. And that will bring us to the Vancouver Vandals again. At number 57 overall, number 57, the Vancouver Vandals are going to select A.J. Anderson, right fielder from the Louisville Lemurs, user strats, um, 173 TPE, 244 average, and a 320 whip. Musha has this to say, quote, We had limited picks in this draft and wanted to make the most of them. When this pick came up and we saw that Anderson was still on the board, we were surprised. We selected them and further deepened our prospect pool. We are excited to see what they can bring to the Vandals. So congratulations to AJ Anderson. Welcome to Vancouver. Look at that hat. That is a beautiful Vandals hat that I want to be wearing right now. But uh, <laughs> bring hashtag hats in the PBE store, please. I was going to uh, say, what, what if we can get that in the store? Yeah, I wonder. How, how crazy would that be if we could, if we could get hats in the PBE store? Go go talk to your, your local HO representative and make it happen. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get so many complaints from HO about, uh, like, hey, did you ask the rest of the PBE to spam our DMs about hats in the PBE store? Uh, I just want a hat. I just want a cap that says cat penalty on it. <laughs> I, I would I would wear that hat too. Um, so congratulations to AJ Anderson for being drafted to the Vancouver Vandals. Uh, and congrats uh, to the Vancouver Vandals for selecting AJ Anderson here at number 57. Uh, moving on to number 58... Uh, we're start, so we start to get kind of deep into the draft. Uh, you'll notice that uh, some teams will start to pass. I don't know if that's the case with the demons here. Um, actually, yeah, that there's, yeah, there's, yeah. Wow. Uh, as I said, some teams will start to pass. And you see uh, that the passes are coming in very quickly here. Demons are out. Crabs are out. Stars, Taurus, Apex, Voyagers, Sea Serpents, and Surge are all out of the draft now. Um they can no longer pick once they've passed. Um, and so we move on to the fifth round. Nobody told me that. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry you're just hearing this now, Enoch. Don't tell me anything. <laughs> uh, and that will, bring... that will bring us to uh, the next pick. The Aviators, uh, with the first pick in the fifth round, are going to select Luca Magic. Uh, at number 66 overall, uh, center fielder from the Louisville Lemurs, 150 TPE, 238 average, and a 310 OBP. Bailey has this to say, uh, quote, we want that Luca magic. We are hoping Luca gets back to earning a bit, so we are, are excited to see what he can do. Uh, Luca magic from the Lemurs uh, has currently 150 TPE with the streak archetype. Uh, 53 and 58 on the BABIP, already uh, increasing um, that BABIP on both sides by quite a bit. Center fielder, left fielder, and shortstop are the three positions. Kind of a unique spread there between those three. Um, So great potential, says Chess. Uh, Hope you're right. I I hope that all these uh, late round picks uh, really really see that uh, that they're being valued lower by other teams and that they're uh the team that did draft them values them highly enough to to pick them and uh and that that pushes them to strive to earn more um that's that's how it worked for for me former 66th overall pick in the season 18 draft um but uh see that you're being see that other teams are valuing you lower and make them make them pay for that make them uh Make them sweat. Realize that they made a mistake in not picking you. So, um, 
hopefully we see that from a lot of these later round steals. Um, that'll bring us to number 67 overall. Number 67, the Sarasota Supernovas uh, are going to pass, as are the Indianapolis Apex. So that's number 67 and 68. Now we're moving on to number 69 with the 69th overall selection. The Death Valley Scorpions are going to select Marcellus Clay. Shortstop from the Am Amarillo Armadillos. Hafigar is the user. Uh, some of you may recognize Hafigar. Uh, formerly Nas Hamed. 187 TP, 257 average, 321 OBP. Uh, quote from Cal, Death Valley is proud to have worked in tandem with Marcellus Clay, Marcellus Clay's agent to fool other teams into not drafting him. Clay has the pedigree and the know-how to become a top-tier shortstop in the PBE. We expect to see him in the Hall of Fame someday. Uh, so congratulations to Hafigar for being selected by the Death Valley Scorpions here. And congrats to the Scorpions for selecting Hafigar all the way down here at round five. And that will bring us to the Boise Raptors next pick. Uh, Aaron Ford picked here at number 70. A shortstop from the Swift Steeds organization, user A49910. Uh, I think Aaron Ford was in the uh, in the Twitch chat earlier. Uh, see if he's see if they're still around. 124 TPE. They're using the Freak archetype. Uh, already getting the power up to 59 and 51 on both sides. Shortstop, second base, and right fielder um, as the three positions uh, for them. Uh, and that will be the uh, and that will be number 70 overall for the Boise Raptors. Congrats to A49910 for being selected to the Boise Raptors, and congrats to the Raptors for uh, drafting another shortstop uh, for their squad. I say another. I don't know if they have any on their roster now. I don't know why I said another. Uh, but that will bring us to the New Orleans Rougarou. Um, Eldor? Yeah, we make a pick here. Yep. Oh, you do? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Ty Legacy. Uh, I don't remember the user's name. Ken's 4. Yep. He was Epcat. Uh, we... Actually, he is gone. IA hasn't really had a post since the 1st of May, I believe. But we, while scouting him, uh, we had a really good discussion with him, and he was very, uh, had a very good conversation. So um, hopefully we can uh, get him to not be IA anymore. So Alrighty. went ahead and grabbed him. But yeah. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we get some, uh, hopefully we get some late round steals out of this draft. I always hope for that. Uh, for teams, because it, uh, it encourages, it, I should say, it discourages passing and encourages more taking flyers on picks and, and trying out some players that, you know, might might not seem too active or um, or you might not see them around as much. Um, and they could turn out really well. You never know. Uh, so right fielder from the Kansas City Hepcats organization. Congrats to Ty Legacy for being selected by New Orleans here at pick number 71. And pick number 72, the Maui Makos are going to pass, as will the Vandals at 73 and the Scorpions, which uh, only leaves a few teams remain, the Outer Banks Aviators, the Boise Raptors, and the New Orleans Rougarou. In the sixth round, the Outer Banks Aviators will select Alejandro Ortega, user Octopus from the Amarillo Armadillo second baseman. Uh, at pick number 82, 137 TPE, 236 average, and a 285 OBP. Um, Octopus, I believe, previously had a create known as Daiki Inoue, if I'm not mistaken. I probably butchered that pronunciation. Um, but I am correct in the name that I'm thinking of. <laughs> so, uh, Octopus, uh, using the Freak archetype, uh, Bailey has this to say. This, uh, this person had a player in the past, but we think this could actually be a decent steal. Octopus has been around the forums doing activities, so to get them here is an easy pick. This could be a steal. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully we see some, uh, some pl plenty of late-round steals, as I've been saying. Uh, Boise Raptors are going to pass, as will the New Orleans Rougarou, so both teams are now out. The only team remaining, uh, in the draft, uh, with picks is the Outer Banks Aviators, who are going to continue to select in the seventh round now. Uh, in the seventh round, the Outer Banks Aviators are going to take Del Taco, left fielder, user Griff, 
And I'm assuming that they didn't play, considering their average and OVP are both zero. Uh, so I'm assuming that they did not play for the Florida Flamingos this season. Um, hitting archetype, the Freak. Uh, 60 power on both sides. Left field, right field, and center field. So definitely wanting to be an outfielder. Um is Griff. Uh, Griff had uh, a couple of previous creates, Mo Willis and Wo Millis, um, to varying degrees of success. Looks like uh, they were last seen on the forum April 18th, though, so this may be kind of a flyer pick uh, to try and get Griff back to the PBE. Um, if you're listening, Griff, uh, go go uh, go thank the your new GMs, the Outer Banks Aviators, for, uh, for picking you here um, and having faith in you. Uh, I have faith in you. I hope to see you back around someday. Um, that will bring us to the eighth round, uh, where the Outer Banks Aviators are going... It was a nice hat, Chess. <laughs> I should have mentioned that. It was a very nice hat. Um, eighth round, the Outer Banks Aviators select Tyree Porterfield, starting pitcher for the State College Swift Steeds. Uh, user name Slick. Uh, Tyree Porterfield, um, is a control freak starting pitcher. Archetype uh, with a velocity of 91 to 93 movement versus left-handed pitchers. Sorry, movement versus left-handed batters and control versus left-handed batters. Both seeming to take a uh, focus uh, already 50 TPE in both of those. Um, and then you've got the fastball cutter and knuckle curve as their three pitches uh, in the repertoire. Um, 320 ERA 154 whip uh, last season for the Swifties. And once again... A very, very good-looking hat. Uh, we should get those in the store sometime. That will bring us to the ninth round. Ninth round, the Aviators will finally pass. So that is it. We are done. It uh, took us all the way to the eighth round, I guess, since the ninth round was just a pass pick. Um, but there you go. That is the Season 33 Majors PBE Draft. Thank you all for watching. Um, and thank you to all the GMs who, uh, who stuck around in the, in the call and, uh, made announcements of their picks. Really appreciate it. And to all the GMs who sent in quotes as well. You made my job very easy, um, as you always do. Uh, thank you to the chat for sticking around and thank you especially, especially to the draft graphics team. Uh, you all make wonderful presentations every single year, uh, and I'm very impressed with all of the work that you put in to make this draft uh, presentation so spectacular. Uh, so thank you very much to the draft graphics team, Sonic Gmail, and uh, all the rest of the uh, render artists, uh, Sarah, Kai Emprak, Kent Akira. I'm going to miss other people. I'm going to miss people because I'm just because I just don't know the whole team. I'm sorry. But all of the uh, all of the um, render artists do a fantastic job at putting together these renders for all the players. So thank you very much for doing that. And that will wrap us up. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, next stream is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Enoch, it's going to be with you. It's going to be the, uh, the Drafty Showcase. He's... Enoch's muted, so maybe he stepped away. Uh, <laughs> gotta check the stream schedule real quick, but I, I'm pretty sure that that is the next one, is the Drafty Showcase tomorrow. So be on the lookout for an announcement um, about that. Yes, uh, I have to uh, close oh, that. <laughs> there we go, okay. Yes. So th that's the but next that's tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be uh, around 5 o'clock start time. Around um, 5 o'clock. Might start kicking off a little Eastern? earlier. Eastern, yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so thank you for that. And then we also have the Miners Draft uh, this Saturday. That is correct. All right. So yes, it's the Miners Draft this Saturday. And then the awards uh, stream on Sunday. And then we have the awards on Sunday. Yep. Yeah. So be on the lookout for announcements for all of those uh, streams uh, and the times that they will be broadcast right here on twitch.tv slash pbesim. Uh, and I will... Uh, See you all later. Uh, hope to see you in the in the Twitch chat for some of those streams. I won't be hosting. Someone else will. Uh, but thank you once again for tuning in. Uh, and have a good rest of your Thursday, everyone. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye.